So this is the aftermath of heavy winds. And you can look on the ground here. Look at all the leaves just accumulated. All types of different leaves from trees around here. We had like 50 mile an hour winds the entire day yesterday. So this place is just littered with leaves. But again, leaves are your best friend in gardening. So you don't want to throw these away. I'm going to actually use this as a mulch layer around my other all my plants. You can see it's a nice combination of different types of leaves. And that's what you want for your garden is the diversity of leaves. This is great, this is a nice mulch layer. Biodiversity. So free mulch for your plants, and mulch is very critical for your plant's health. If you look over here, there's a bunch of trees. So everything that was blowing blew right over to here. So there's a pepper tree right, right there. And then this other tree, and then just other things around the neighborhood just blowing into the, into the yard. You can see, look at all the diversity in here, different leaves. This creates a great layer to put over your plants. Not quite sure. So we have about four different types of leaves. And you can see how it stacks up and piles really nicely with a diversity of leaves. So this is excellent for your plants. So what I'm gonna simply do is sweep everything up and just sprinkle it over around your fruit trees. Anywhere there's you have bare dirt. Make sure you keep your soil covered at all times. This stuff is valuable. That's the one good thing about these windstorms is that you'll get a lot of leaves falling on the ground and kind of cleans everything up. You can see there's not a single leaf left on this peach tree. Just a few days ago, there was still a lot of peach leaves but you can see this thing is cleaned off completely and new growth is already sprouting out so that is pretty amazing how quickly this thing turned around it didn't lose any leaf flowers that withstanded a lot of wind pressure that's pretty amazing so we'll take this simply Sprinkle this directly around your trees. Let's get a thick layer of leaves around your trees. So I'll get the rest of that and sprinkle it around over here as well. Let me show you in the front. Check this out. We had heavy, heavy winds yesterday. Look at all the stuff on the ground. So we have these trees up here. These things were just blowing like crazy last night. Look up here on top of the recycle bins. So all this material, this is free mulch. So what I'm gonna do is sweep this up. You can see all of this thick layer on the ground. So this came straight from the trees. Take a look at all this stuff that accumulated along here. So again, all of this can be used as a mulch layer. This stuff just accumulated. Look at all of that. This has quite a diversity of leaves in here as well. So 
So you don't want to throw this stuff away. This is valuable. All this will break down. See here I have quite a diversity of leaves here as well. So again, we'll sweep up all this stuff. Look at how much free mulch we have. I'm gonna have just huge piles of this. Very valuable. So after a big wind, big windstorm, this is what you're gonna to want to do is just save all the stuff. Don't throw it in the trash. I'll just make a pile right here for now. And then we can spread it around the plants. So this is a lot of good stuff. You can see here's some of the pine cones from these cypress trees and all the this leaf matter is almost like a pine tree. But again, pretty much any tree, tree's leaves will work. All right, there we go. Look at this giant pile. All this vegetative matter for free. So this is about a, probably a trash can full that I just swept up just off the driveway. And there's a little bit of stuff like this you want to get rid of. But otherwise, this is clean. This will work great for your plants. Try to get like a two inch, three inch, four inch, six inch layer of, of this stuff over your, your planting area around your trees. They're just gonna love this. So get yourself a scoop shovel or something. All this stuff is gonna be mulch around my plants. So get a nice diversity. Let's see, this is avocado tree. Let's put a bunch around this avocado tree. This stuff breaks down very quickly, so you're gonna be doing this a few times per year. Don't just do this once when you plant the tree and expect that's all you're gonna need. This stuff will break down very quickly. All the microbes, fungi, and bacteria will break all that down. Let's get some of that. Okay, let's go back over to grab some more. You can see over here, I have potatoes growing. These are potato plants. So this stem actually grows all the way over to here. And there's more potato plants right here. This all starts from the middle, but I bent the potatoes down so they would grow sideways. The potatoes were planted right in here. But you can see over here, look how far away that is. That one over there, and then over here. So I'm mounding the mulch up over the top. Look at how much I got right here. That is a, got a trash can full. All right, let's go over here. You wanna also mulch a little farther out around. Go like four or five feet around your tree because those roots will really spread quite a distance. And you want to cover the soil. See over here, I don't have it covered. If you look down here, this is just dirt. And the weeds will start growing back where you don't have the mulch. So, spreading the mulch will keep the weeds down as well. So all of this just 
came down with the wind. So I'm gonna put this right in the middle here. Actually, you got a tomato plant growing right there by itself. Spread this out a little bit. Again, I'm gonna mound up this potato plant so more potatoes will grow. So this is great. Good. See, these are potatoes right here. This, this, this one, and this one over here. All potatoes all started from right here. There's actually, this is where the potato started from. And I, I just bent the, the leaves over the branches. right here. Spread that around. So I have multiple trees here. Over here we have, that's African blue basil. So all your plants are gonna like mulch. Try to lift the branches up and then push it underneath. So whether it's fruit trees or plants, uh, your landscaping plants or vegetables, Every single plant is gonna like this. So I got, let's see where else can I put this? I do have a fairly small yard here. So, okay, let's go under here. Again, just mounding this up. You can go really a foot thick if you wanted to. This stuff will all break down. If I were to dig under here, you'd find a lot of worms, grubs, and different insects that'll just break all this down. You'll be surprised how quickly things break down uh, when you're putting mulch over. Okay, this is an apple tree right here. See, it's my, my layer of mulch is getting kind of thin here. Let's go ahead and put it around that as well. have a huge space here let's lift these up actually right there those are carrots see those right there those grew by themselves so I bury my food scraps the, re the carrots regrew by themselves so, oh, okay here we go that's a nice layer Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, click like. Okay, we'll watch this break down. So you can see over here, there's no mulch. What happens when you don't have mulch? The weeds just grow back. If you don't have a thick layer, it's just it's more work. So another reason to save all the leaves that you can, you can find. All right, everybody, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.